Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, gang friends, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff for nail stuff and stuff she does with nail stuff with nail stuff and stuff for nails. <sighs> Hi, welcome. Today we hi. We are going to be using the new Madame Glam collection that was released on the 1st of July. It's the Apple of My Eye collection and you can use code MISSJO30 for a whopping 30% off the, your Madame Glam orders. If you want a closer look at those colours, I did a swatching video the other day so I'll put a link in the description. This is, we are doing, right... We're doing some ombres today with these colours. I've saved the best one to last. I've saved the best two to last. So I'm starting with pink and blue. The pink is I Heart NY and the blue is NY Blue. And this is Birthday at the Plaza. It's their collection for their eighth birthday. And I'm using the Madame Glam ombre brush. I have got a few ombre brushes. Ombre brush. And... This one is by far my favourite. There's something about the bristles and the... I just... I love it. So we're going to ombre those. The difference between the blue and the green is more apparent in the flesh. So you'll just have to take my word for it, I guess. And then I'll do two coats of that. And then we're going to put some little fluffy clouds on. Nice, easy clouds. I'm taking... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, perfect white. And this brush is the loop brush from Crystal Nails. If this brush is a bit battered, I need a new one. But never throw away your tatty brushes. They might come in handy for some kind of technique. I find the fact that this brush is a bit tatty kind of helps with clouds. So I'll, I'm just patting. Just pat. Very easy. It's hard to go wrong with clouds because they don't have to look a certain way. I mean, they kind of have to look a bit like clouds, obviously, but there's no perfect exact cloud. So I'm just patting on. I haven't got a lot on my brush, so start with not a lot. And then if you want to um, build the colour up, you can do that. And I will try and whisk them out a little bit at the ends and I'll give that a cure. And now we're going to add some stars. I think I'm using gel paint for this. Sorry, I'm very excitable today. It's a middle Sunday of Wimbledon. I'm off work for two weeks for Wimbledon, client-wise. I'm still doing videos. Um, so I'm all very excitable. Um, I'm, I'm over my rage from the Kyrgios City Pass match last night. I was not best pleased with the behaviour at Wimbledon, darling. But there you go. So little dot stars. Shh, I'm shouting, aren't I? And a dot and then pull. Uppity up, uppity up. <laughs> Down a tee down, left a tee left, and right a tee right. And then I'm going to add a lot of dot stars because I always go OTT on the dots and I add more just before I put it in the lamp. So let's just get a bunch on straight away. And we are topping it with Madame Glam's No Wipe Shiny Top Coat, which is a lovely consistency. It's nice and creamy, so it will help even out any minor height differences between our background and our clouds and our stars and our dots and there is the first one the second one I'm doing in the set move on okay we'll look at that for a sec <laughs> the second one oh I forgot to press record so this is the second coat of ombre I've done I heart NY and then meet me in NY and then yellow cab which is the greatest color I've ever seen it's oh you need this color just it's so good there's something about it. It's just, I don't think I've seen a colour like it. So I then sort of mirrored the bottom half and did the orange and then the pink. Uh, and I've sped this up a bit because it is pretty much the same as the first nail. Although I suspect the combination of nails going fast and me talking a million miles an hour is an assault on, <laughs> on two of the five senses, eyes and ears. I can't help it. I'm very excitable <laughs> right now. They've just bought on... A bunch of the previous Wimbledon winners from decades and decades 
And they was bringing them on the people who've won it once, the people who've won it twice, the people who won it three, four, five. Will they? Are they going to eight? And I thought, hold the phone because my Fed, my Federer, he's mine, isn't playing this year because of injury. If he walks on, I'm going to lose my shit. And he walked on. (gasps) I screamed. I was filming the telly. Don't know why, just in case. And I screamed. I got goosebumps all over. I might have shed a tear. <laughs> but I, um, I, I made Dexter jump because I screamed. Federer walked on telly. He showed up. Should we talk about the nails? It's my two weeks off for Wimbledon. I'm talking about Wimbledon. Um, it's just unavoidable. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I've just seen Federer, which is why I'm, I'm a bit woo. Right. We've done those two nails. And now we're doing something a bit different. So I'm going, to, well, we're not really, we're doing another, <laughs> we're doing another ombre. We're doing the blue, pink, blue. And then again, I've, I've sped this bit up. Once you've seen an ombre done at normal speed, I feel like I don't want to bore you by doing another ombre at normal speed. It's only sped up by 50% though. So it's 1.5 speed. So I do go quite fast when doing it. And then I think I show you here on the, oh no, I don't. <laughs> on the sides, I make sure to just neaten up the sides. If it's on a person, use a detail brush because you can sometimes miss the very sides of the nails when using an ombre brush. But you can use those ombre, br- ombre brushes on people. Um, it doesn't get as messy as you might think it would, but if it does get on their skin, then you can just wipe it off before it goes in the lamp. That's fine. As long as they don't have an instant react. We don't want anyone bursting into flames the second gel touches their skin, but if they don't, then I definitely recommend using an ombre brush for ombres. I know there's other ways you can do it, but it doesn't get as messy as you think. Right, we've done some little bits of land, just some straight... Um, lines where I want my horizon to be and then built them up getting a little bit taller towards the sides in perfect black and I cured it and I've now I've mixed a bit of yellow cab with some white to get the really bright yellow in the center and I didn't cure that I have put a line of the pink around it and I'm just tickling tickle tickle tickling (laughs) them together to get it sort of orangey and I'm just going to wisp out the pink so I'm not putting my brush into the yellow portion here just the pink bit and wisping it out it doesn't matter if it looks a bit streaky because sky can be streaky but it does kind of blend into the pink part of the ombre uh, behind it (gasps) watch this apart from the top one I miss every stripe look (laughs) how did that happen I missed every single bit almost when I went side to side a million times and missed all the little streaks I'd put on, they are with the yellow cab and a bit of the yellow cab and perfect white mixture. Oh no, that's this bit here. Um, and I haven't, I haven't cured any of that yet. So I did all the streaks at the same time. And because you're not putting a lot on, you can keep sort of adding streaks and dashes of, of colour because it's not thick. So I cured that and that's giving us some hopefully movement in the sea. And now I'm drawing a little boat. I've never drawn a boat before. I just took, so it's it's essentially just a rectangular strip, but then I've pointed it up a bit on one side and then I'm adding a single straight line and then a little diagonal line. I should have looked at a picture, but I just thought boat silhouette and that's what came up in my head. Is it, I don't, the, 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 uh, what's the word? The perspective is somewhat of a question mark. Is it a small boat close up? Is it a massive boat really far away? I think it's a, a medium boat, a medium distance away. (laughs) That's what we're going with. And then some more clouds. I'm using the very tip of my brush, angling the end, the non-brush end up to the ceiling a bit more to get just the very tip point of that loop brush to wisp off the clouds towards the edge and then an up and see up down and down <laughs> left and do left and right to right star with a little dot my stars my my stars are not so good in this set but they'll they'll do they'll do that's the spirit <laughs> and then some more 
dot stars, a very starry sky. I was stargazing last night with my helicopter, my helicopter, <laughs> my telescope. Um, it was a very starry sky last night. And that is cured. And we are topping that with the no wipe. Uh, the yes, the shiny no wipe top coat manoglams as well. Not sure, not not too sure about the boat, but uh, it just added a bit of more something to the water. So now we are going on to my one of my favourites out of this set. The next two, uh, the next two are one of my favourite. Both of these. So that's mixing the yellow cab and the white. And we're going to start with a little circle in the middle. My camera has a bit of a, a moment during this nail. It can't decide when to focus. So I haven't cured the yellow. I'm not going to cure any of this. I'll let you know when I do, so don't cure it. And I've added some yellow cab without mixing it with anything. And then just where they join, I'm just going to do circles, not worrying about them being a perfect ombre to the next color because it doesn't matter again if it's if it's a bit streaky because it's you know sunsets can be streaky and then this is the orange which is meet me in ny and then we'll do the same with the pink the i heart ny and then the purple which is called P -p pop the champagne and then the ny blue so like i say i'm not worrying about them being a perfect blend just where the pink is meeting the orange I will just go around in circles and it will sort of blend a little bit and then I'll just repeat that with the other colors I feel like this nail if it to look at it it looks like it would be more difficult than it is I mean for me anyway <laughs> probably not for amazing nail artists but it, when I looked at it after I thought if someone showed me this nail I would think I don't know how to do that um, but I guess I, I guess I do because here it is um, but it's not as difficult as it looks it is just a lot of um, a, f a bit of faffing but we like to faff faff like a fucking champion so we'll faff and get our, our <laughs> sunset going the blue here, I made sure to, well, I tried to make sure to take the purple up into the blue as opposed to the blue down into the purple. I don't think at first I did, then I realized that's what I needed to do because otherwise the blue could come in quite a lot and sort of swallow everything else and overpower the other colors. So I think I added a little bit more purple to my brush and just took the purple up as opposed to the blue down. I don't know why I didn't finish this circle and get my horizon on now, but I didn't, so I'll fill that in <laughs> later. And then I'm adding a bit more of the white to the yellow cab, just to make that center really glowy. And now we cure it. So we haven't cured it up until that point. And now a very bizarre way of doing water normally i'll have something there already like with the boat one we had our ombre and we added sun reflection lines on top of it i'm kind of painting this all as sun reflection lines so i mean you can see what i'm doing it's just an odd way to go about it and i'm not curing it until this bottom bit is done so I put purple on just used little horizontal streaks here to blend it into the color to its left or right. And the nice thing about doing water is that your ombre doesn't, your ha you, you intentionally don't want a perfectly seamless blend ombre. You want it to be streaky because that is going to give the illusion of movement in the water and ripples and waves and whatnot. So I'm going in now with the, is that the orange? I think that might be yellow cab. Yeah, and I'm just putting some more on now, but more on. But normally, like I say, you would be putting the streaks on top of something. So I wanted the yellow to kind of be above the pink, which it is because we're putting it on after the pink. But just making sure when I sweep to it, I sweep the yellow into the pink and don't come from the pink into the yellow. Does that make sense? I hope so. 
the <laughs> the reflection line is very wonky. Oh, and then I decided to sweep side to side. I, yeah, why not? Just play. I was making this whole set up <laughs> as I went. So it's all um, trial and error and adding a bit more here and a bit more there um, as and in, as in when it needs. And then I needed to fill this gap in because I this idiot didn't do a horizon line to start. So because that's all been cured now, I'm just doing the blue and then running a bit of purple through and just gently um, blending them together. R a rough blend. Rough, if you, if ombres are something that are a bit scary for you, which is perfectly normal, by the way, ombres are terrifying, especially when you're not you know, you've not been doing them for years and years. I love an ombre now, but used to dread them. Then scenes like this, little beach scenes or sky scenes, sky and sea, sky and sea scenes, sky and sea scenes are great to get used to the movement of going side to side because you want the streaks. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a good way to start practicing with ombres it's because if you stick clouds and a sunshine on a streaky ombre there you go perfect sky <laughs> so i've added again some land either side making sure not to join them in the center and then we're doing a palm tree i did the trunk and the arms we'll call them arms and then i cured it because a few times i'd added the little strokes here which you just want to do little sort of flopping they're floppy strokes as if the leaves are flopping but I did that and I kept not liking them because I always struggle doing the, the, the floppy bits. And I would have to wipe and then just wipe the whole tree off. So I got the trunk and the arms on and then cured it and then did my leafy bits. And then we'll add some more stars and things. Always make sure the trunk is a bit thicker at the bottom and make sure you finish it off the side of the nail neatly. And with the, um, the, the what did I call them? The floppy bits. <laughs> Normally, it's good to use the product that you've used to create the arms to drag out from those lines to get the wispy bits. But if you're like me and you're never happy with your floppy bits, <laughs> then cure your arms in place first. And then you can keep doing them until you're happy. And when you wipe it off, you're not having to start from scratch. And this is what I think the best to last this is NY Blue and then Pop the Champagne. And this is I Heart NY and then Yellow Cab at the bottom. The reason I do the bottom color bigger than the rest is because work, if I said this at the beginning, maybe, working from the top to the bottom with the ombre is going to pull all those colors downwards. So it's going to swallow up um, quite a lot of the bottom color. So if you do it bigger, then you don't loot, you still get a section that is that color at the very bottom. And this color combination, oh, I'm in love with it. Is that not, this is the, my favorite ombre I've ever done. Oh, see, this is where I'm just tickling the sides where you sometimes miss them with the ombre brush. Use a detail brush on a person um, if you don't want to get messy. Um, so I did two coats of that, and then we're going to do another palm tree. Am I am I being weird looking at this ombre and thinking it's not my work? I'm talking about the colours. Looking at it and think it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Well, I have looked at my dog before and seen Federer play tennis, so not the greatest thing I've ever seen. But ombre colour combo-wise, I am... I think maybe we should do a whole video with those, with that base. I don't know what I'd do on it though, but I'm, I just, I can't get over how much I love those colors together. So we've added another little palm tree. The top left arm is straight for some reason. I don't know. I think I'd done it like five times and was just annoyed. <laughs> and then some little birds just by doing a curve. And then um, the second curve, I start the second curve a little bit lower than the end of the first curve. So that kind of, it's an M, but it's a lazy M and it gives it the kind of bird body as opposed to just to the curve going down. And then the second, the other wing starting straight from the bottom of the other curve. Stop talking about curves. But it gives it a little body if you just take it a bit lower. A little birdie, little birdie bod. 
And then we added more stars and dots and top that as well. And that is the last one. Oh, the ombre colors. Mm. Mm. Not blowing my trumpet again, blowing the colors trumpets. <laughs> so that is the last one. Shall we have a look at the final set? Game set and match. Okay, here they be. Here is all of them together. I really love this set. It's not often that, I mean, I like the sets I do, but I don't often look at them and think, I want these on my fingers immediately. And that's how I feel about these. The colors are insane. If you want them, don't forget you can use code MISSJO30 for a whopping 30% off. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you being here so, so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye.